de questions. Senator Platt. Thank you, Speaker. My question is again for the government leader in the Senate. Leader, yesterday, Via Rail announced close to 1,000 of its employees would be laid off. CN Rail is also laying off in excess of 450 workers. Almost 1,500 people now out of work, all due to rail blockades which have gone on far too long. Last year, leader, when SNC Lavalin was said to be in danger of leaving Canada, allegedly losing 9,000 jobs, which never materialized. The Prime Minister and his office got involved to the point of interfering in, indi in an independent criminal prosecution, all because they said they were trying to save jobs. This year, our rail system is mostly shut down, leader. Rail workers, workers at small businesses, are losing their jobs daily. We are seeing propane, chlorine, and fertilizer shortages. Our ports are blocked, and farmers cannot move their products. And what does the Prime Minister do in response? Next to nothing. Senator Gold, how many more people will have to lose their jobs before this Prime Minister will act to end these blockades? Good question. Yeah. Here. Thank you very much for the question. I think all Canadians share uh, the uh, frustration and indeed the hardship um, that uh, we're experiencing in this time. Um, I've been advised, and the government has stated on numbers of occasions, it fully understands, it deeply understands uh, the impact that this is having on individual Canadians, on their businesses, on families, on farmers, indeed on the economy. It is, as the Prime Minister said just yesterday, unacceptable. The challenge, though, is finding the way in which to end this in, the, in an appropriate way that does not do more harm than good. As the Chamber knows, uh, the government does not control police operations, whether the RCMP or, or provincial police, uh, uh, and in a democratic uh, country, we would want it no other way. Uh, the government's position is that nation-to-nation -nation dialogue is still, frustrating though it is, the best path forward. I do note um, that the RCMP has, in fact, made an offer to leave the Wet'suwet'en territory, uh, which for a long time, as you know, was a condition for the hereditary chiefs being willing uh, to meet with the Crown Indigenous Relations Minister and I think that is a good sign. And <coughs> National Chief of the Assembly of First Nations, Perry <coughs> Belgard, also welcomed the offer, saying that it's an important opportunity for progress, dialogue, and safety. So I know that the government remains uh, determined to do everything they, that it can to bring this unacceptable situation to a peaceful end as soon as possible. Senator Platt. Well, Speaker, we've all heard the saying, when Rome was burning, Nero was playing the flute. What musical instrument does Prime Minister Justin Trudeau play? Senator Gold, both you and the Prime Minister, has spoken of the need to resolve this quickly, quickly. But your government has done absolutely nothing quickly, or in fact nothing at all, to show any sense of urgency whatsoever. The Prime Minister will only talk with people who share his vision. That's right. While the situation gets worse, Via Rail was supposed to resume its service between Montreal and Quebec City today. But due to a new blockade, instead of cleaning up blockades, a new blockade, those plans have been cancelled. Senator Gold, the rail blockades began two weeks ago. This is not quickly. This is not acting quickly. When will we see an action plan and a time frame? Please, a time frame. We will end it by this day from the Prime Minister for ending this crisis. You're here. Senator Gold. <clears throat> well, thank you again for your question. Um, I'm not sure what, uh, what instrument the, uh, the Prime Minister plays, but he's not fiddling. 
as Nero did. Um, uh, on the contrary, uh, the work that's being done to work with all the representatives of the First Nations, hereditary chiefs, elected chiefs, government, RCMP, that work, though it is in the form of dialogue, is action. And I understand, and the government understands, frustration with seeing roadblocks go up uh, and not being taken down. But again, <coughs> if we ignore our history, we're condemned to, to repeat it, as, as was said. And every time that these uh, uh, challenges and, and obstacles, literally, uh, are uh, met with force, uh, rather than understanding and dialogue and negotiation, things get worse, not better. So the government's position, though frustrating and clearly uh, 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 difficult uh, for all, uh, remains to seek a peaceful, negotiated way out of this impasse.